I'm Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of this newsletter is going to be Days When She Pulls Back. Well, I've got an email here from a viewer, but I've got a good quote that uh, is appropriate for what this guy is going through, and it's from Chinese Proverbs. A gem cannot be polished without friction, nor a man perfected without trials. So he says, hey coach, I first emailed you a couple of years ago after downloading your book after my divorce. Since then, I have followed your advice and it has definitely been worth a small amount of money to download. The advice is dead on. I have a career I love. I followed my original passions outside of work since before I was married. Also, I've dated many different women and had several short-term relationships since then. None, however, that were any that I could see myself in longer-term relationships with, and I ended them until now. <clears throat> I met someone through a mutual friend, and we've been together now for almost five months. I handled everything right, or the right way from the start. She even commented to me and her friends how I wouldn't stay on the phone with her, and I would just call to set a date, etc. She said that I was not like other guys... Well, if you've been following what I teach, you definitely are not going to act like other guys. And didn't chase her. It was exactly how you said in the book. So we got to three months or so, and she had the talk with me, wanting to know how I felt about our relationship and where I see things going. So one thing I have to say is that... I talk about this a lot, is that if you do everything right, it takes about two months to get a girl to fall in love with you. Now, the more things you do wrong, the further it's going to push out that date or to the point where she falls head over heels in love with you. And if you're doing a lot of things wrong, you're never going to get her quite to that place where she falls in love. And so in this particular case, I'd say it's pretty good. You read the book and it took you about three months to get a girl to fall in love with you. I mean, first time around, it's pretty awesome. But... That tells me that you're making mistakes. There's, and usually it has to do with a little bit of over pursuit. So, typically the calling, texting, and pursuing, 80% of it should be initiated by the woman. The guy should do. If you want to have, if you want a girl to fall in love with you in about two months, the guy should be doing no more than 20 to 30% of it. When the guy does more, it takes her longer to fall in love. And when he does like 40, 50% of the of the pursuing, then the polarity is not strong enough to the point where he's literally is over pursuing. It's not just the calling and texting, it's a lot of things he's doing. She could basically tell that he's more into the relationship than she is. <clears throat> so he says, then about a week later, she was the first to bring up that she was in love with me. Well, that's a good sign. So again, it took about 90 days, a little, about 30 days longer than it should have. And that's just indicative, obviously. That's pretty good, first time around using this stuff. So he says, she usually texts often with nice things to say, and when we are together, it seems perfect. We each have a child that we each, and we've met each other's children, but because of that and our work schedules, it doesn't allow us to see each other every day. Well, it's not necessarily a bad thing. He says, she's let everyone know that we're in a relationship with each other. That's good that she's telling other people about it. And he says, the past two to three weeks, though, there have been days when she pulls back. And I'm not sure what the test is at this point. Well, what you got to understand is just sometimes in a relationship, hormones, whatever happens, maybe that just it fluctuates. A woman's emotions are going to fluctuate towards you based upon your behavior. And, and you can't take it personally. Now, a mistake where a lot of guys notice, they, they see that everything's been going great for a while, and they see the girl back off a little bit, and they realize, hey, something's amiss here. She's not coming. She's not she's not as sweet when she calls me. She's not sending as many I love you. I love you. She's not initiating texting as much. And so those little, little things are subtle, and so it takes time for a woman to fall in love, but it also takes time for her to fall out of love. And so when you see little things like this and you know that your game's been tight and you, you're not arguing with her and you're not having problems or anything like that, like say you go out and you spend three days together and you have this amazing weekend. Maybe you took her away for the weekend somewhere. And then you get back and like on Monday she just kind of has an attitude of almost like, eh. You can tell she's not as excited. And I mean the bottom line is even a lot of women don't really understand this about themselves. I mean they have 
what they think the guy should do or what they've been told that the guy should do. However, they don't really understand emotionally what they respond to. And it's a scientific fact that women are more attracted to men whose feelings are unclear. And so if you know your game is tight and you've done everything right, and all of a sudden she kind of gets a little bored, it's just like the analogy of, of women are like cats, meaning they get bored, they're going to go roam the neighborhood. And you can't take it personally. You just got to look at it and say, okay, well, it just means her level of attraction has dropped because we spent a lot of time together. Because when you spend a lot of time around somebody, they get really familiar with you. And they start, they know what to expect. And women like guys that are mysterious. And so you just simply got to have that space. And so if you can tell that, and this is why it's so much better to allow the woman to chase you because it's going to fluctuate week by week. She's not going to call you the same exact amount of times. She's not going to send you the same exact amount of texts. You're going to notice that it's going to fluctuate. And so when those things start to taper off, usually it happens either A, because you're screwing up or B, because you've been spending a lot of time together and she's just getting really familiar with you. And when somebody gets too familiar, it gets they get bored. And so what typically tends to happen is a woman backs off, she goes and does other things with her girlfriends, and that's when you just got to let her go. And so if you're used to her calling or texting you a couple times a day or at least once a day and all of a sudden, like tomorrow, she doesn't text you, you don't come and go, oh my God, there's something wrong. Just wait because if her behavior is pretty consistent, then just assume, oh, okay, maybe she's got bored. And then you don't see she goes a day and you don't hear from her. Then don't do anything. Don't chase her. Don't because you got to have that time away. You got to think of it as like like putting a cake in the oven and waiting for the sexual tension to rise. In other words, it's like I'm sure for like around Thanksgiving time, those little buttons that are in the turkeys, you should that pop up when the turkey is done. It's kind of like that. When a woman gets bored and she's not as interested, or maybe because you spent a weekend together, or you, or you spent a week together, and you, you know, we went on a trip together, or whatever, and you're together 24/7, what happens? Is you just back off and let her go, go about your life. And if she doesn't contact you the next day, and usually she contacts you every day, I wouldn't think anything of it. And then, but if two days go by, then, and she normally is calling and texting you every couple of days then the fallback position is always once per week call her to do something and just give her give her the space usually in, within a day or two she'll call you or text you and that's all it needs that's all that's all she needs is just a little time a little space to be to get busy reconnect with her girlfriends and everybody else that's going on in her life and then a day or two goes by he's like oh I haven't heard I haven't from I heard from Corey I wonder what he's doing I wonder what he's up to and then when she reaches out to you, you can assume that it's like the little button on the Thanksgiving turkey popping up. Like, oh, wow, now she's ready to see me again. Her interest has gone back up. Like I said, you got to get to the point where that shit doesn't bother you. That no matter how much or how little time you're spending together, you're still focused 100% on your purpose in life. And you're not coming unglued and then sitting there scratching your head going, oh, my God, oh, my God, she hasn't called me. Oh, my God, what am I, is there another guy in the picture? And start freaking out like that because that's what the typical guy tends to do and then he starts chasing he starts pursuing and then the ratio changes to where he may have only been doing 20 to 30 percent of the calling texting and pursuing now the ratio goes to 40 to 50 percent and it's slow because it, it slowly happens over the course of a couple weeks and so as a guy starts to pursue more and more the girl starts to pursue less and less simply because she's become so familiar and she's really sure of herself and how she feels about you and if she starts to feel like you're more into the relationship than she is meaning you're more into her than she is into you then that's going to cause her to become unsure and to back off and that's why it's important that you give them the space it's like I talk about this a lot it's learning to find the balance between pursuing too much and not pursuing enough. So if you're in a relationship or the, a girl you're dating, things are kind of going sideways or maybe you're, things are going great, but you just want to make sure that you keep things going the way that they're going and that she either stays in love or that she falls in love, go to my website, click the products tab at the top of your screen and follow the instructions for booking a paid phone coaching session. And I will talk to you soon.